All right, I'm going to use PCB Library Expert Lite to build this 555 timer footprint. So just open up PCB Library Expert Lite Pro and you want version 2019.03 or whatever the latest version is at the time you are making this footprint. This chip is the small outline package or SOIC package. So go ahead and click OK. All right, we want the pitch to be in between these two pins. This is the pitch. So that would be 1.27 millimeters. How do I know I'm in millimeters in PCB Library Expert Light Pro? It's down here in the bottom. The units are millimeters. Hit tab on your keyboard to populate that pitch. We have six pins on the chip as indicated. Oh, actually, that is my mistake. We have eight pins populated on the chip. All right, now, what is A? A is this distance, which would be the height of the device. And let's see if we can find that height. We see that the max would be 1.75, so let's go with that. Hit tab. Now, what's the minimum for A1? A1 is the distance from the bottom pad or foot of a pin on this device to the bottom part of the device underbelly. So that would be, looks like the C dimension here. So that looks like 0 0.1 millimeters. So we'll set that nominal to 0 0.1 millimeters. I say nominal because I don't have a minimum or maximum for that dimension. So that's the nominal. I'll set the tolerance to zero. Great. Now the B dimension here, what would that be? That's the width of a pin if you're looking at it from the top. That is this dimension here, which would be 0 0.31 to 0 0.51 millimeters. So let us set the minimum to 0 0.31 millimeters and the maximum to 0 0.5. 5, 1 millimeters that gives us our nominal now for the D dimension that is in reference to this part below that's the length of the body package that is the same as the A dimension in the data sheet and let's see the minimum is 4.81 and the maximum is 5.00 millimeters next let's move on to the E dimension in the diagram below which is the full width including pins for the part and that has a minimum of 5.8 millimeters and a maximum of 6.19 millimeters all right moving on we have e1 on the bottom of this and that translates to dimension b on the component in the data sheet that's 3.81 minimum and 3.8 Nine eight maximum. Last is the L dimension. That would be the little foot here of the pin. Now where would we get that dimension? Ah, right here. So this detail A typical is 1.04 millimeters. So let's go with the typical dimension. And I'll set the tolerances to zero. Great. Now that the dimensions are set, let's go with settings. Units are in millimeters. My 3D color, I will keep the primary body as black. And pin one is silver, yeah, that's fine. Let's see if there's anything else I want to change here. You can also use the manufacturer's recommended dimensions, which is which is a great idea, actually. Uh, this is from a lot of testing for their part they have very specific sets of dimensions and details that are probably initially based on the IPC 731, 7351B standard, um, but they found that practically these dimensions work best. Um, but for now, we'll just go with inputting our dimensions because we don't always have recommended dimensions, but when you do have them, make use of them. I'm going against my rule. I just told you there, but that's, that's okay for now. Go ahead and click OK to create this part. 
Now the pin numbering is consistent with what we want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the counterclockwise direction and likewise in the data sheet. Okay, so I'm going to maximize this window and hit my tool button. Let's set the translator to ORCAD PCB because I have ORCAD Lite. I will use the package name as the library name. And I'll set this as the default format. Let's see, 17.2048 is what I would go with because I, have, I believe the latest version of ORCAD Lite. The output directory I'll set to C parts. Let's see here. I don't want to auto run the batch file just in case it has issues. And the version for step model is parts step. So this looks good. I'm going to save entries as preferences and create and close. Okay, now let's navigate to the folder here where I generated the part. So go in parts and we've got SOIC 8P. Now let's look at the ORCAD PCB load.bat file. If you double click on this, it will attempt to make the part, but then you see or retrieval of ORCAD PCB designer basics license failed. So that is a problem. It's trying to call ORCAD PCB editor basics. Let's close this. All right, what do we need to do here? Let's right click on the .bat file and you can edit with Notepad or Notepad++. It's looking for this pad R175 in the directory, which it does have, but it's calling the wrong product. It's calling this. So how do we fix this? Well, navigate to the Windows Start menu. Go to Cadence Release 17.2. Then right-click on PCB Editor Lite and choose more and open file location. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to see exactly the commands sent by PCB Editor Lite to get into to the correct version of Allegro for the Lite version. So right click on this PCB Editor Lite icon and then pull up the properties. The target that it calls is Allegro.exe dash ORCAD. Now that's a space dash ORCAD. Let's see if there's anything beyond that. Nope, I'm gonna copy this. So right click, copy, click OK. We'll go back to our batch file. We don't need this dash product or any of this, just paste. Oh, and I'll remove this extra dash. Make sure there's a space between Allegro and the dash. I'm leaving it as is because if it's calling Allegro and it tried to start it, it already knows that's Allegro.exe. So I'm not gonna change anything. Click save. Then let's try again. Run this bat file. Yes, I want to enter light mode. And let's see what happens. Okay, to double check to see if this footprint actually is generated, go to Cadence Release 17.2, open PCB Editor Lite, select Yes, and it should automatically load the most recent footprint. There we go, this is the footprint. Let's check the 3D model. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks good. Hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button to move this around. Yeah, looks quite fine. Okay, that is how you generate the footprint for this part, the 555 timer, using PCB Library Expert Pro Lite.